All right, uh, so YouTube, this is my second video, and um, the first video was a little over, like a little like overview video or whatever about what we're gonna learn, and right now I'm 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 actually gonna go into the the music portion, I guess you could say. So um, bear with me for a couple of videos. I'm still kind of learning, well, figuring figuring out this stuff. Um, I'm trying to get proper headphones so that you guys don't hear like a sound echoing in the background but I'm gonna try to work around that um, I know it's very unprofessional but I mean shit we all gotta start somewhere you know so alright so I'm basically I'm just gonna do like a basic kick pattern but first before I get into that um, let me tell you about the tempo so if you see this right here this is called a metronome and basically you click that and you click the, the play button or space see that kind of keeps the the pace of, of the song, so it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's basically what a, a metronome does, and you can go from a hi hat to a tick or to a beep. That's really annoying though. But um, and then this right here, these are the beats per pattern. Usually, songs will go from four beats or eight beats or sixteen beats. So, for, I mean, four beats are just a regular four beat pattern. 8 beats are 2 fours and 16s are 2 eights, just like that. Usually I go just eights. I don't do 4 beats or anything unless I'm making a fast song. But even then I, I just kind of do 8. 8 is kind of like the, the sweet spot I guess you could say. So I'll put this here and we're going to make a kick pattern on I guess you could say 115. We'll try that out and if that doesn't work then we'll do something else. So if you have the kick pattern so just... So, um, we'll just use the, the basic kits in here. Actually, we'll go to the Lex Luger cat uh, kit, and I'll uh, link it in, in the description where to get it. So don't worry. So, just go through the kicks here. All right, it's this one. This is just for like tutorial purposes, I guess you could say. So we got kick seventeen, and we'll do hi hat two, and for the snare. We'll do just a basic snare. Um, the snare I like in here. No, it's not four. Four is a is a hard snare. I'm trying to find it. Uh, can't find it. Whatever. I guess we'll just use this one. Okay, but I'll, I'll lower it a little bit. All right. So, see, so we have the one. Oh, let's just, let's take this off for now. So one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Alright, so basically it's just one, two, and then snare here, and then a snare here. The snares, you usually, they always, like, well, at least the, the main snares, my main snares, they always play on this one and this one. Or if it's going, re like, really slow, like my most recent beat is my, um... OG Maco beat or whatever. I forgot the name of it to be honest. But um like that beat, that one has a snare going on that one, that one, and that one, and that one. And that's because it's on sixty uh beats per minute. So it's a very slow song. But anyway, so here it is, just one. That's basically all it is basic as hell. And let's just put it into the things. We'll just put we'll make two of them. So and I like to I like to layer my stuff out. I don't usually like to do this, but I'll layer it out in another video for time sake. For time sake, because this is actually a video about the the hi hats. So for time sake, um, well, it's not really about hi hats. It's just about like the overall pattern, I guess you could say. But for time sake, we're just gonna have this here, and we're just gonna name this uh, tut pat. And then what you, what what we wanna do here is you wanna click it, and it'll it should like. Go to your paintbrush right here. These are your tools. Like you have your, your your snap to grid, your draw. I don't use this at all, really. Your delete, I don't use that at all. Your mute, definitely don't use that. The slip, I don't even know what that is. The slice, I use that. The select, I use that. The zoom, this shit fucks me up. And the playback, I've never used that in my life. Usually, I just do paint, slice, and select. That's really all I do. If you want to quickly delete something, oh. My bad. 
if you want to quickly uh de delete something, just press the uh, the uh, right the right mouse button and it'll delete. And then if you want to put it back in, press Control Z. And this is for Windows, so I don't. If you got a Mac, you're kind of SOL because I hate Macs. But anyway, so uh so you do that, and so basically have the top pattern right here, real basic. So it's duplicated, and then you want to click this right here. Click it inside of this little section, left click it, and then go to make unique. And so now we're going to make this one unique, just like that. Just like that. And now this is a whole other pattern that we actually made. See? It's a whole other pattern. So now we're going to put in the hats. So, so let's work in, in pattern two. I mean pattern one. And if you select um like a pattern or something, then like it'll automatically switch over to it. I didn't know that to be honest. But yeah, that's basically what it does. So hats, let's do we'll we'll, we'll make them go like every two beats. So you want to right click it and just fill each two steps. That's how you quickly do it every two beats. Or you can do fill each four steps or fill each eight steps. But we're gonna do fill each two steps. So it's just basic. And we'll do the same for this one. All right, so now what we have are like this. So now let's add a little bit of variety, variety to it, and let's spice it up a little bit. So I'm sorry this video gets a little long. I, uh, I guess I'll try to keep it under 10 minutes. But let's let's add a little spice to it. Let's make it a little, you know, a little spicy. So how we're gonna do that is just like regular. See, and. Okay. Ooh, no, nah, that sounds bad. I have it just like that. And that's still not spicy enough, so let's go into the piano roll. And the piano roll, you want to right click any of the um, instruments that you have up here. This is how I can this is how I quickly go to it. Uh, you can do a whole other thing by going up here pressing this one you've opened up the piano roll I don't do that though so I think you can do it by pressing P2 oh no you can't anyway so right click it and then send to piano roll and now you have it this is called a piano roll it's called that because it has piano keys on it you know with octaves and everything I'll get into this in a whole different video so you want to click pattern so that let me show you what that does so these two right here pattern song song means that we're playing in this part pattern means that we will only play this pattern and it'll loop only this pattern okay so song see so yeah, it, it goes all through this part right here pattern it only plays the pattern that that we're currently selected to we, we can easily switch patterns and it'll change it up all right so let's work in, in the pattern and once you send it to the piano roll you don't need to send it again you can just easily just click it and it'll open up the piano roll so we're gonna spice it up a little bit so right now we're on the half step and beats and steps are totally different thing beats are bigger than steps I didn't know this but so you have your half step your third step your fourth step and then your sixth um, I mean, will beat half beat third beat fourth beat and then your sixth beat I'll get into basically how we can really do some crazy shit with all this in a in a video that is directed towards hi hats, so this is just directed towards the overall pattern layout. So let's just go to the second step and so let's keep it real simple. So so basically, now I'm not gonna lie to you. What I've been doing for the past five six months is literally taking the the slice tool and slicing it individually like this. That's what I've been doing. It was so like annoying until I was looking up something and it showed me that all you have to do is highlight it, like go to the select tool, highlight it, right? And then press control U and it'll automatically slice. Isn't that fucking crazy? I never knew that. But so I don't want you guys to go through the same struggle that I went through. So just press control U and it'll automatically slice it. So now let's hear how it sounds. See, spice it up a little bit. So now, let's go here, this one, to the type pattern two. 
and now basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna select this to where it, the green bar is only on, on on the hi hat section, not on this whole section, just the hi hat section. You want to just right click it, press Control C, it's copy. Click the pattern to go to the hi hat section again. Click it again just to make sure. I don't believe you have to do this, but I do it just to make sure. And then press Control V. It'll overwrite it with the same pattern that that is on here. Click uh, pattern two. Let's go through it again. It's the same pattern. And now we're gonna play around with it, and we're gonna make this into a third step, uh, a third beat. So go go to uh, click this little arrow here. Go to snap. Uh, one through one over three beat or third beat. Select it. Control U. And now we don't even have to like preview it because I already know that it's, it's gonna sound good. So let's hear how it sounds. Ready? All right. Now, that sounds pretty good, but we could always change up a little more. And this is, I mean, making beats, it's all about experimenting. It's all about seeing what works. So let's, so what we just did basically is we went to snap and we basically doubled it to three and six. So we, we went from three beat to six beat to double it. So now let's see how that sounds. It's probably, to be honest, I don't know if it's gonna sound good or not. Okay, it, it does sound good, okay. So, that's your basic pattern. And the video is getting kind of long, so I'm, I'm gonna stop it here. So, let's just go over everything that we have learned in this video. So, and keep in mind, we're, we're using the Lex Luger sound pack. I will link the sound pack in the, in the description, don't worry. So, this is a, a kick, you know, regular kick. And we have placed a kick, and that one, and that one, that one. That one, that one, that one, that one. That's just a. It's basically like you know you just kind of play you you put you play around with it and you find what blends together. You don't want it to be sounding all rough like this. You don't want it to sound rough. You want it to just blend smoothly. And it all depends on this current tempo that you're on. That's what it all depends on. If we were on 130, then this this wouldn't work. Let's see. Let's see if it works. It's too fast. 115 is perfect for this beat pattern. Now, the snare, we just basically just put it after the kicks. Nothing much to do with the snare. That's really it. And the hi-hat, we have sent to the piano roll. Your hi-hats will most likely always be in the piano roll. Keep that in mind. But the hi-hats we have sent to the piano roll, we clicked this little drop-down arrow, went to the snap, and we mainly worked in the second step and the third step, but we changed the third set, the, I mean the third beat, but we changed the third beat to the sixth beat. And that's how we got the sound in the second pattern, which is right here, that is like that. Now if, if you try to change it up and go from a sixth beat to a fourth step, you're, it's, gonna, it's gonna look really off. And you're gonna have a lot of like shorter notes and it's just gonna sound really fucking weird and you don't ever wanna do that. You wanna keep shit synchronized. You wanna keep shit uh what's the word? I gotta look at the word, hold on. Quantinize, that's what you wanna do. You wanna keep it quantinized, okay? I, I don't even know what that means. I, I all I know is that it means even. So you wanna keep shit even. Six and four do not go together, but six and three go together. If you if you're on a six beat and you go to a third step, it's gonna flow right together. Because making beats is all about flowing. It's all about making shit just flow. You don't want any stutters. You don't want any mess ups. You want it to just flow. You want it to sound good. So, it's basically all it is. Now, now to some people, this pattern might be good. To some people, this pattern might be ass. It's, it's your ears. You know, everyone got different ears, okay? So, this base, that, that is a basic pattern. You know, a basic little pattern of what we just did. So, you know, if you have any questions, if you need any help with anything, if you're stuck on stuff, just comment it and I'll try to get back to you when I can. And, you know, uh, like, subscribe. Uh, I mean, I don't, yeah, you kind of get what I mean. And, like, you know, you notice that I got ads on all my videos. Click an ad. Fuck it. Click an ad. Help me out. Support me because I know that I will continue to support you regardless if you do it or not. So, 
thank you for watching this video I appreciate it this is the second video of this a pattern overview on how to make a pattern that's it